Hi all, I wanted to make a day in report for the 9th of July 2024 regarding the indices in the market. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. So please read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. We'll straight go on to our 4 hour charts as we usually do. Before I begin, I would like to tell you that for me it was a zero trade day i did not take any trades today i found the mid cap bank, bank nifty and fin nifty sideways and nifty i did not take any trade even though there was little movement on the nifty i have not taken any trade on the nifty as well in fact i'm making this video about two three minutes uh before the market is going to close i expect no big momentum now so that is my view on the market i also mentioned in the telegram channel that uh the momentum required for option buyers is missing in my view and no trading today may be a good idea all right with that said let's proceed for our charts as you can see the last two bars on the nifty 50 shows a marginal progress it has managed to stay above the support of 24306 and that is the good part the bad part is that apart from nifty all the indices did not show any strength and everything went sideways all right so as far as nifty is concerned we can say that the market was sideways i mean market made marginal progress i think nifty also made a new lifetime high today so that's the good thing but the way this market is dragging on is worrisome all right it kind of um, is exhausting to see the way it's dragging and it's also exhausting for the viewer who's watching the graph on the screen it it seems like the market is, is is being pushed and it's actually tired and it's not wanting to move ahead but anyways till the market is moving ahead we'll keep our options open we'll be open to both sides and as long as there's momentum we will trade that is how a trader should look at the indices in my view all right so nifty 50 no nothing major just that the uptrend is still continuing going to bank nifty you can pause the video over here and take the mark the levels uh the levels are still valid in my view going to bank nifty weakness and sideways momentum seen no upward momentum it's still lying be between fibonacci levels and it's still between this red level at five two eight double one and five one nine six one if it goes up it needs to sustain above the red line and if it goes down it needs to break the support and stay below the support for an hour or two for us to further the weakness all right you can mark the levels pause the video and mark the levels nothing has changed in my view let's go to fin nifty again sideways too i mean i can almost say negative but anyways uh no strength seen and uh in my view it's just managing to stay where it is it did not even have the strength to cross this two three six double eight and stay on top of that which is not very far away it's probably about 20 th about 40 points away but it could not do that it could not stay above this yellow dashed line and if it goes down further then twenty three thousand four hundred is the major support if it breaks that it can head lower looking tired fin nifty is looking tired all right let's go to mid cap nifty again sideways sideways momentum you can see the last two bars first it made a doji and then it's marginally in the green it is marginally closed above the resistance of 12404 it has closed at 12411 so that's about seven points above the resistance which is good uh we had seen strength in mid cap after some consolidation about i think that was uh, last weekend if i'm not mistaken but then again this week we are not seeing that strength progress further so we may assume that weakness is creeping in into mid cap as well but anyways we are open to both sides as long as there's momentum we'll trade does not matter whether we are trading a call or a put as options traders we need momentum there was some news today about uh, some recommendations coming into SEBI where 
the bo some some consultation body has recommended that uh, the the lot size be at least 25 30 lakhs instead of the existing 5 lakhs to me it does not make sense i don't know why they would do it but that is the news that i've been receiving about three four times at least on my mobile i think once it came via money control next time it came via twitter and so on and so forth i don't see the logic in it unless they want more than half of the retail to stop trading in futures and options and reduce volumes um, i think uh, sebi trying to uh, play the moral police over here is not right in my view people should have should have the independence to do whatever they want and uh, even if that means that you know they are losing money and all that i i agree it's a bad thing but uh, that that freedom should not be taken away and uh, the opportunities in the market should not be taken away from small retailers is my view all this talk about 30% tds 30% tax on fno trading and uh, now this recommendations so i mean so is the rumor that recommended that the minimum lot size would be 25 30 lakhs so that small traders cannot trade all this is in my view not heading in the right direction i already think the taxation is too high i think the sct stamp duty the brokerage all these combined is a severe burden on on uh, on traders yesterday i saw a nice video by think school um it was of course dealing with taxes on the whole but the first if you it, i think it's a, the video is about 30 minutes but if you see the first 10 15 minutes it actually was talking about how a trader with 10 lakhs makes 15 lakhs by the end of the year and realizes that he has paid 4 lakhs in terms of transaction charges alone so he's left with basically 1 lakh so the broker has made money the government has made money but the trader has hardly made money and that we are talking about a trader in profit all right so these are some important issues where there are a lot of rumors speculating in the market where um, this is going to happen that's going to happen so i really don't know and maybe there's some news that the big people like because that is the why the markets are rallying i have no idea uh, anyways i want to discuss another topic as well so i'll make another video on that regarding the rumors and my views on what what we need to be careful about but for now let's just keep discussing the charts and uh, when we go to our trading view with the same four hour view we get nifty still on the upward slope mid cap nifty still on the upward slope bank nifty still on the upward slope and finance also on the upward slope though the last two and a half days or three days it's been showing weakness and it's at the lower spectrum of the uh, adaptive trend all right if this continues then it may just jump out of the adaptive trend let's see it's not the first time it's going toward the lower end of the adaptive trend it has done that in the past as well but it again jumps in so we will only consider markets going negative when the adaptive trend finder turns the other way around and the slope is then tilting downwards till that happens we will consider that the market is still in an uptrend and one should be careful shorting this market is taking shorters for cleaning uh, so shorters need to be careful I'm not against shorting but uh, it's just that this is not a very good market for shorting because it'll hit your stop losses it'll show that it wants to go down but it'll go down 5 10 15 points and then again go back up so shorters be careful you know the biggest traders in the 90s made their money shorting and anyway but that's a different topic today they have all become investors but that's a separate topic probably we'll discuss that in some other video right now be careful shorting because the market is the undertone of the market is bullish so shorters can be taken to the cleaners all right all right guys uh, that's all for today so i hope this video was helpful to you in some form or the other if it was then kindly like and subscribe to the channel share the video with your family and friends definitely give the video a like that would be my earnest request the more you like the video the more our video can spread on youtube the more it encourages me to make more videos
Also subscribe to our free Telegram channel. The link is given in the description in all our videos. Thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.